Hi there, welcome back to Diamond Ridge Studios. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the model purses that I regret buying. This is a tag that was started by Foxglory123 ages ago, and I thought I might as well do this tag. And we're going to start off with the one that I purchased most recently, which actually it wasn't super recent. It was about two years ago, so I've been pretty good about buying purses that I truly like more recently. So this is Briar Swin. She... I, I just... So she has a bit of a story behind her, so when I originally saw the model, I saw her online and I was like, eh, yeah, yeah, don't really care for her. And then I get sometimes get in my head where I just start thinking about these models and I'm like, oh, well maybe I should get her just, I don't know, just because. And then I ended up going to a store and seeing her in person. I didn't truly care for her in person, I only had one to choose from and that was this one. And I still got her anyway because I was like, you know what? I've been thinking about her a bunch, maybe I truly do want her. This is two years later, I still don't really care for her. Just something about her whole pose just doesn't work for me. I know that some people really like this mold and I'm not saying that it's a bad mold. It's just the mold and the, the horse just don't do anything for me. I, I just don't really like her. and. Some other things I have issues with her, I find her hard to film with, as you may know. I film model horse films, I have another YouTube channel for that stuff in the studios, and I will leave a link for that in the description down below, but Quinn just doesn't do much for me, I'm afraid, and yeah, so she's the most recent purchase that I regret buying. About two and a half years ago. I got another horse, another another gray. Do I just not like grays or what? Um, so this is Ideal. He's very dusty. And I regret buying him because it was another one of those kind of... I guess one wasn't really an impulse purchase, but he was. I got him for a really silly reason. So I was buying Briars with PD from a seller and she said that she could combine shipping if you got two and I was like okay well are there any other horses that I like and I was like oh he's pretty he ended up costing me more than Wapiti would have with shipping so I spent basically double what I would have spent on Wapiti and got a horse that I wasn't I didn't really care about and just the mold I mean he doesn't I am not exactly the biggest fan of these lines here or how wide his forehead is and his base kind of makes him hard to film with As you can see it's just kind of like he comes out of it but yeah I don't know why I just don't sell him but he's a really nice model he just doesn't do anything he just kind of hangs out because I have no use for him so I guess that he'll just hang out for a while because I don't know I kind of I kind of like him, but I kind of am just like, well, he's not doing anything, so we'll see. The next horse that I regret buying is Picasso. I got him, again, Impulse. This was when I was first starting out, so I was like, okay, cool. He's a pretty horse, and he's a Mustang, so I don't know. I just kind of liked him. This pose I thought was really cool, and I thought that this would work. And I, it doesn't work very well. I mean, he's better than the next horse I'm going to show you, but he just, he just doesn't look quite right like this. And again, it was, I film with him, I don't show, so it's kind of like, okay, well, I guess he does kind of work. But when I originally got him, I was originally planning on showing, and I had this idea in my head that I could still show him as an OF model if I put pegs in his leg, gave him a stand, heated his legs so that he was pure wetting. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought that would work. So I have since decided that live showing is not really for me, and yeah. Rearing horses are just kind of hard, and I just find that I don't use him for anything. I might eventually actually turn him into a pure wedding horse at some point, 
but that has yet to happen and it might not happen for a really long time because I have this kind of phobia of customizing traditional horses, so we'll see. The fourth and final horse that I regret buying is Briar's Santana. really dusty. Same kinds of reasons as Picasso. He's, except even worse because if he's walking, he's walking like this. Um, he's just, I'm not a big fan of the silver mold. For me, it doesn't really do much for me. I can see why people like it and they did a great job with this model, but I just kind of regret buying him because I could have spent that money on another horse who I would have loved and used or taken the money from. The All of these horses that I just bought kind of on a whim and bought some really nice filming horses, which I guess I, should, I could just sell them all, but that's too much work, I'm lazy. Those are the models that I regret buying and thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more model horse and model horse customizing related content. You can also follow me on Instagram at Diamond Ridge Studios and be sure to turn on notifications to be notified every time I upload a video, which at the moment is every Sunday and the last Wednesday of every month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the future. Bye!